3.2.4 which is the last question in this question it is 3.2.4 3.2.4 Financial strategies and gearing. The directors of each company have taken deliberate decisions that they are reflected in the cash flow statement. Explain the decisions. Explain the decisions taken by the directors of Broom LTD and how will this benefit the company? Okay. All right. Financial strategies. Let's repeat the question. Financing strategies and gearing. The directors of each company have taken deliberate decisions that are reflected in their cash flow statement. Explain the decision taken by the directors of Broom LTT and how these will benefit the company. So let's do, let's look at the decisions that were taken by Broom LTT. And also, the second one, explain how the decisions taken by Flexi LTD affected the risk and gearing of business. Code 2, financial indicators. Let's start with Broom LTD, the decisions that were taken. If we look at Broom LTD, what is it that they have done? There is a fixed asset purchased. There is a fixed asset purchased of 2 million fixed assets purchased of 2 million 200,000 and with flexi LTD again there is another fixed asset purchased of 1 million broom LTD they increase there was an increase or decrease in loan and this was 400,000 so we let's start with we are focusing on broom broom LTD they increase the loan. Oh, it's an outflow. The first decision by Broom LTD, if you look at the figures there, they increase the loan or decrease the loan. Broom LTD, they repaid the loan. They repaid the loan for how much? For 400,000. They repaid the loan for 400,000. So this repayment of loan of 400,000, how will this benefit the company? It will benefit the company because the company will save on interest on loan. And another decision that they have also taken with Broom LTD was to increase the share capital. Increase the share capital by 2,640,000. They have increased the share capital by 2,640,000, which will then make the company to have more funds available for the operation of the business. They have also purchased a fixed asset purchase that was an inflow of cash, but they have increased the share capital by 2,640,000. And then let's look at the decisions by Flexi LTD affected the risk and gearing of the business, quote two financial indicators. Let's look at the decision by Flexi LTD. Flexi LTD increase the loan. They increase the loan. Four million five hundred thousand. And how has this affected e gearing? How has this code two financial indications? So let's look at the gearing. Let's start with the percentage return on capital employed. Percentage return on capital employed decreased from 16.1. ROTCE decreased from 16.1% to 10.2%.
the ROTC decreased from 16.1% to 10.2%. That's the return on total capital employed. And then if you look at a debt equity ratio, debt equity ratio increased The debt equity ratio increased from 0 0.4 is to 1 to 1.1 is to 1. So high risk, this is high risk. This is high risk. The debt equity ratio is increased from 0 0.4 is to 1 and it is now to 1.1 is to one so we the business is now at high risk the loans are now too high and if you're looking at the return of 10.2 percent the return of 10.2 percent is less than the interest rate on loan rotce 10.2 percent less than interest on loans which is interest on loans is 13 percent and therefore we are saying there is a negative gearing so coming back to this question of flex ltd explain how the decision taken by flex ltd affected risk and gearing of the business code two financial indicators the risk if we start with risk the risk is now too high it debt equity ratio has increased from 0 0.4 is to 1 to 1.1 is to 1 and the gearing of the company the rotce is the return on total capital employed is 10.2 percent what we are getting from this money is only 10.2 percent when we are expected to pay interest on loan at 13 percent so the interest on loan of 13 percent is more than the return so we are saying now the company has got a negative gearing so i think this decision of increasing the loan this much was not a good decision considering that the even the return is not good the risk is now too high and the gearing is now negative so this question brings us to the end of question three which was based on the interpretation of financial statements so it's very important that people should be able to interpret profitability ratios that was 3.2.1 3.2.2 dividends earnings and returns you should be able to understand profitability ratios there you need to make sure that the company is making profit so the percentage operating profit should always go down it should always decrease the percentage operating expenses when it is compared to sales like in this company the, the percentage operating expenses on sales uh, decreased so if the percentage operating expenses on sales is decreasing and the operating percentage operating profit on sales is improving so we are saying that the profitability is good in that particular company like in this case we prefer to prune ltd because their operating expenses decreased from 17 percent to 13.6 but the operating profit increased from 20.5 to 24.2 then with the dividends earnings and return we are saying the payout rate the percentage the payout rate it should not be unreasonable because we need to consider the earnings per share when the dividend per share is more than the earnings per share it's indicating that now we are taking funds from the retained income account and the retained income account we are keeping that money for future development of the business so we need to notice that if the dividends per share is more than the earnings per share it means we are using all the money that we have earned and we are also even taking from the retained income account so that was basically dividends the percentage shareholding we have noticed that uh, Bates lost the majority shareholder status in flexi ltd but with the new purchase from room ltd he has also increased from 41.8 percent to 
0.6%. We also look at the decisions that were taken by Prum LTD. The first one was being repaying the loan of 400,000. They will save on interest. They also increased share capital by 2,640,000. And therefore, the company will have enough money available for the operating of the business. Flexi LTD, they increased the loan by 4,500,000. And this decision, we are saying it was not a good decision, considering that it has led to an increase in the debt equity ratio. And we are now at high risk. 0 0.4 is to 1 to 1.1 is to 1. The return on total capital employed is 10.2%, is even less than the interest on loan, so there is negative gearing. So we are not in favor of this decision of increasing this loan by 4,500,000. So this is bringing us to an end of question three.